that we start out with our boats on the water. It's a great event for us. Um, this is actually our biggest fundraiser and to date over the years, this is our 14th year, so for the last 13 years we've raised a total of 600000 over the course. But uh, this weekend we're hoping that we will net actually over 100000 Coming into the event on Thursday with our just our sponsorships, we had $95,000. So once the weekend is over and we add all the other money that's coming in over the weekend and we take out the expenses, our goal is to be between $100,000 and $120,000. I just checked in and we have 110 boats that have registered for the event today. Uh, and we just had a wonderful time of watching the boats go out on the water. They'll be out there for the day going out and picking up uh, coupon stops and then they'll be back here today later in the afternoon for the raffle drawing. Uh, it will be a prize of $1,500 for the top winner, $750 and $500. So we'll have three winners this afternoon that get to take home prize money along with everything that goes back to Mills on Wheels. You got boats here from all over. Tell people how far away boats are coming. That's the great thing about this event is it's not only a bunch of local people that come here and support us. We have people that come from all over the nation. We've got people from New York, from California, Florida, Kentucky. Um, def that's just to name a few. I think there's definitely some people from Georgia and North Carolina that I've met. Um, so it's a great event. These are folks that travel around the nation and follow the poker run circuit. So um, they, we're glad to have them here at our event this weekend. Some of these boats, tell them how much some of these boats are worth. So some of the boats are um, multi-million dollars. We have, I know some folks that have talked about having boats that are over 500,000. I know we have one that is a 1.2 million and a 1.4 million. So there's just a lot of money floating around on the lake, but it's a beautiful, beautiful scene to see these boats going and everybody just gets really excited. This is our second year for Anderson County to uh, host us here at Green Pond Landing. And we are so thankful that they have offered this facility to us. It gives us a great footprint to put out vendors um, and all of our events throughout the weekends, as well as the dock space. We've increased our dock space up to 35. And hopefully in years to come, we'll have more than that. But it's great to be able to be on these docks and raft out and have more boats that are able to, to have a spot to be in. Tell people what this money's for. Mills on Wheels delivers to the homebound seniors and disabled in Anderson County. And to do that, we do these type of fundraisers. We have 650 people that we serve on a daily basis. We also have 400 people that are on our waiting list, approximately 400 people. So it's very important that as those needs increase, that we increase our fundraisers and, and the number of dollars that come in through these fundraisers. And we're so thankful for everyone who just comes here and freely gives um, to enjoy for themselves, but also to give back to those people who need our service.